Funny story about uh, the Bang Bang Boogie Camp and shit. I, I had made contact with the boy P.O. online some type of way, and he gave his numbers, and I went out there, and, um, you know, I, I knew what to expect, but I didn't. I mean, because on camera, they're Bang Bang Boogie, they're rappers and shit, but when you go to their hood, it kind of changes. It's a little bit sex, money, murder influence in there. Somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm but um, I already knew the history uh, on the whole shit with Pistol Pete and all that shit. And like these guys was his homies, guys that he like, grew up with and shit like that. And um, the funny thing about it was I, di I didn't know how to get to two two sound bill sound view on a train or whatever. I don't know if you can't get there on a train or not, but anyway, the nigga, it was another New York nigga who actually gave me a ride. He was giving me rides and shit. And um, after I got that film with Shay Davis and then he asked me, he said, where you got to go? I said, I got to go up here on Webster Avenue and something else and then I'm going to such and such. He said, okay, cool. I know where that's at. So we ride. You know, we smoking and shit. And um, I was saying, I had told him earlier, man, you know, don't have me, you know, you driving and shit. Don't have me in no dangerous situations and shit. Cause he was saying, um, we riding and shit. And it turned out that <laughs> he asked me, ended up, he said, who you want up here to film, son? And I said, bang, bang, boogie. <laughs> he looked up and he said, uh, dangerous. <laughs> Them the niggas did get it popping and <laughs> shit. Straight up. And, um. It's all good, man. Shout out to P.O. Gilly, Lord, to Rick Cuban, the whole camp, my son. Congratulations on, you know, being signed with Black Wall Street. It's all good.